Hi folks, it's the middle of March 2023 and I'm just about to embark on upgrading my solar panel system on the roof of our motorhome. Keep watching. Our current solar panel system is 100 watts solar panel um, charging our 100 amp hour um, leisure battery. Um, I also have a two-way switch on it which um, I can flip the solar across and charge up our EcoFlow. I did do a video on that earlier about the pros and cons of that. Um, one of the cons, if you did watch that video, is 100 watt solar, if you're sort of operating off grid, isn't really enough to keep um, the eco float. However, we are looking at getting another 100 amp hour battery, so um, a bit of extra solar would be useful for that too. So, um, we're keeping the 100 watt panel we've got on the roof. I purchased two further 110 watt panels. Um, the reason I went for 110 watt is um, they were the correct size to fit on the roof. We've had to go for quite narrow gauge panels um, because there isn't an awful lot of room on the roof. Um, the caveat to this is they didn't have a 100 watt version. They only had 110 watt um, and I've had to wait a few months for them even. Um, the disadvantage to that, as you possibly know, um, is it will bring the power of those 110 watts down to 100 watts. So in effect, we will have a 300 watt array up there. Um, so follow us on this uh, video. I will show you the uh, all the kit arriving, which kit I've purchased, um, fitting the panels on the roof, uh, whether to glue them down or screw them down, um, fitting the new solar controller and incorporating all the solar panels into one array in order to give us um, that 300 watt max that we require. Stay tuned to the end and I'll also give you a breakdown of all the costs for all the kit that we bought. So the panels have arrived, I'm very excited. Um, two of them have come in the post with DHL. I'm just going to unwrap them and see, make sure there's no damage to them. The um, suppliers, Sunstore Solar, um, insist that you unwrap them within 24 hours which I thought was really good um, I would have said unpack them within a few hours uh, check them over and make sure there's no damage to them so that's what I'm about to do now So that's the mum wrap. Um, I've probably mentioned this before, but we've gone for 12 volt solar panels. Um, I've had to wait quite a long time because they're quite a unique size, as you can see um, from the side, um, if you can read sideways. Um, they're only 440 millimeters wide. These were the only panels that would fit on the roof in the available space. So I've positioned them on the bench so I can, um, so they're a bit safer. <clears throat> and we can get them opened up properly. Here we are. Um, yeah, they look great. Um, just get them properly unpacked now and then um, decide what sort of time scale I'm going to take to install them. It's been a little bit wet this week. We're towards the end of March. Um, you probably know what the weather is like in uh, March wasn't overly wet just lots of showers so not the opportunity to get up on the roof um, I really want it a little bit warmer as well so uh, I'm just going to unpack them properly um, maybe just check the wiring on them and... so here's the back of the panel you can see the MC4 connectors um, as you know I already have 100 watt um, panel up on the roof so um, I'll have some fun and games connecting all those MC4 connectors up right so I've got both the panels unpacked. I'm just going to do a quick check on the voltage on them. 
uh, just to make sure that um, there is some voltage coming through. Um, it's not a bad day, it's quite dull, but you can probably see the sun shining on the side of my face. It is quite warm for March, so there will be something coming out of them. So I've got the uh, multimeter set on DC and uh, I've got it set on 200 volts. Uh, the next setting down is 20, which um, the voltage is likely to be higher than that, hence why I've got it on 200. So um, I'm just going to put uh, the negative in the negative, the NC4, and the positive in the other one. And lo and behold, um, we've got a voltage of 22.5. I think the open source voltage, I think it's called, for these is 23 volts, so I'm guessing that's probably okay. Um, it will all depend on how powerful the sun is perhaps. Um, I think I've mentioned before I'm no expert on this, I'm um, doing my research as I go along. So that one seems okay, I'm going to check the other one now just to make sure uh, there's no cracks in them or anything like that, so um, all good there. Right, so I'm just going to store them now. Um, until I'm ready to go up on the roof and do them so uh, perfect little uh, place for him to go on the bed Mr. and Mrs. Solar Panel so we've started um, up on the roof now and I'm just cleaning the roof where the original solar panel is which is a 100 watt solar panel um, I've took that off it's just sat in the garden at the moment um, it's an opportunity to clean underneath it also uh, it's got the wrong ends on here um, so I need to put some fresh NC, MC4 connectors on there uh, but I'm going to get on with um, cleaning it now So that's the area clean where the um, old solar panel is going to go back on. Uh, been there five years. It was installed when um, the van was new um, and we inherited it. Here it is there. Nothing wrong with it so we're just adding to it with two more which I've shown you already are going to go down that edge and the edge over the other side of the rear as well let this dry a little bit now. Thought I'd show you some of the specialist gear that I've bought for the solar install. Um, it's surprising how things mount up when you start buying stuff. Um, I bought a little kit there for fitting MC4 connectors, a uh, few extra MC4 connections. Um, they're the three into one connectors. They look really good quality actually. They were from Craig Solar. A um, couple of bits from my local store, Magnum Motorhomes, uh, isolating switch, uh, three Sikaflex 522s. Um, I also needed to buy a one meter extension cable. Um, because I'm hooking all the solar panels in together, they only have a lead of about half a meter on them. So um, one of them I need to extend slightly, so I bought a one meter extension lead uh there's my wire strippers um another crimping tool um and these little ferrules um that you connect on the end of uh wires when they're going into a terminal block uh never used them before i'm sure they'll be really useful uh and i've got me 20 amp inline fuse there uh, i'm going to try 20 amp to start with i'm sure it should be okay with um three 300 watt solar panels they're never going to produce 300 watts so i think doing the calculations uh, i think 20 amp will be fine a few more toys have arrived um the solar controllers here um this is the one i've gone for the 100 stroke 20 uh, for those of you that don't know that means uh, 100 volts and 20 amps um, is what this controller can be used for up to um, you'll see there's um, 
the various settings on there that one goes the left hand one goes to the battery the PV that's the photovoltaic as in the solar panels and there's a load there apparently you can run a light or something whatever you want straight off it um, just to show you the back of it there is like a air passage type thing to stop it overheating um, it's a little bit bigger than the existing one that I've got up in the van so uh, I might have to clear a bit of space to make it fit in uh, don't know when I'll get around to that, it'll be a few days yet but um, yeah I think I've just about got everything now to um, finish the job next job put some NC4 connectors on the old 100 watt panel that um, I had up on the roof um, as you can see it's in the van now I've took it off um, so let's get on with that here's the old panel um, there's the old type of connectors that are on there um, quite amusing it actually says minus and plus on them um, so what I need to make sure is that I'm putting the right MC4 connector um on the right terminal so you'll see that the positive on the new panels is uh, a male nc4 connector so i'm going to get on with that now in replacing these i also need to do the same on the roof which uh, i'll also do this is my um crimping stuff ready um here's the male connector that which i'm going to use one thing you do have to remember which i've discovered is uh it needs to be a female feral so it's the um it's obviously the wider one of the two is the male ferrule next to it so just to summarize the female ferrule goes in the male plastic piece so uh, just remember that uh, i've got my crimpers ready um i've got some my wire cutters there as well so well uh, without further ado let's get on with it i've chopped the old terminals off the old um solar panel and i'm going to fit a new mc4 connector on here now i've done one i've done the female i'm going to do the male now just to show you how they go on um thought you might be interested to see the old uh connectors um obviously this is the new one um the mc4 male so i'll undo that make sure you hang on to that little washer there and it doesn't drop out first thing really is to put that on um that's it that's going to go on there uh, we need to strip a bit off this wire now um, and you need about an inch off it so I've set the uh, wire cutters to about there but what you have to do because the sheath is quite thick you have to sort of turn it around a bit first and then give it a good tug here we go it's worth having the right kit and it just makes the job so much neater and the proper tools i've invested a little bit in these tools so right so with a male connector you need a female ferrule so uh that goes in there now i'm going to try and do this whilst filming at the same time so what happens is that bit sits on that little seat there and then that bit comes down i hope you can see this sometimes you just have to press it together a little bit just trying to position it so you can see what i'm doing just fold that out of the way so it's on there like that put the crimper on it needs to be right up against the sheath there put it on the crimping tool press down and it's on a ratchet so you're committed once you start all the way let it off and then you can see it's quite a good connection there pull it it's pretty tight i could go on to the smaller size and just make it a bit tighter but i think that's fine so the next step is to push the mail on uh onto there and you'll hear it probably click there you go it clicked into place and then this bit comes up that washer goes in there and then as you tighten this it forces that in to make a water site a watertight seal can you see it there's another sort of rubber thing up there so i'm going to start tightening that as far as i can do by hand and then we've got a tool just to finish it off because you don't want a gap 
there can you see that gap needs to be closed up so we've got this tool uh, with that tool it holds one part of it steady and then you put one of these on there and you tighten it up hope I got the right one I think I might have the wrong one there didn't think there were different sizes but seems they are that one no it's not it's that one so tighten it up you'll see it going tighter there we go and the gap closing up and you'll hear it click when it's clicked it's far enough that's it okay so there we've got it it's watertight in there now um and that's ready for me to uh now um put it back up on the roof which is what i'm going to do next Right, so before I put this, the original solar panel back on, I'm reconnecting the wires again with the new uh, MC4 connectors on and also putting on these three-way connectors because it's going to be in parallel, uh, which I'll explain a bit more of later. So this is the wire that goes down into the van, so this is where the single bit of the connectors need to be. So click one connect the other if you do get anything wrong I have got this little gadget and it helps you open them again so it's quite useful that comes with the MC4 kit now because they're connected in parallel all the positives will go together and all the negatives will go together so I'm going to connect this one now and then obviously when I've installed the others I'll just put them in the remaining holes so uh, hopefully I've got this right so we'll put that one in and then we'll put that one in and these are just going to sit under the solar panel for the time being uh, I'll get it in position um, it's already got the brackets on this obviously um, and then I just need to what I will do once I've got it in it's a tight fit is I'll line up the screw holes and then um, I'll put the original cell tappers in and then it's had a clean underneath we've got the new ends on ready for when um, when we've got the leads from the others oh. I've got the old solar panel back on all cleaned it's cleaned underneath um, I've replaced all the MC4 connectors and I've also got these three-way connectors because I'm connecting it in parallel obviously it keeps the voltage the same um, but your current will uh, be three times so whatever the current is for each panel it'll be those three added together in ideal conditions obviously whilst I'm up here I'll show you where the other panels are going one's going along there the others go in there it's fairly clear at the moment um, I'm waiting till a couple of days time because it's a really sunny day and the winds low uh, the winds quite low at the moment but it's uh, it's quite late in the day it's about four o'clock uh, and I want to leave myself plenty of time make sure there's no rain coming so the um, the sick sicker flex can set um, but you'll see that much sooner so I just wanted to show you the brackets I've had made um, for the solar panel um, they are two inch by three and a half inch aluminium angle um, and my intention here, um, you'll see is to mount them on the side like that obviously this one's stuck sticking out so I can show you um, I'm going to uh, put some self tappers in there and then what I've actually got if I take that out I've got the whole of that flat bottom there three and a half inches to put the sicker flex on for it to stick to the roof um, so I'm quite pleased with them it's the they worked out about 
50 quid for a full set. Um, I bought a two and a half metre length from a, a company online. Um, and then that company cut them for me as well. So, uh, and also what I'd got was, um, I'd got some excess. So I hadn't cut them into four equal sizes of that. So I was considering putting uh, one on the side as well, uh, midway about there, which I still, I still might do. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna drill these, I'm gonna drill that, and then I'm gonna put the self tappers in um, to hold them in place. Um, so everything's all ready. When the weather cheers up a bit, it's actually, you can probably see out the shed window, it's, um, it's chucking it down. Here's the van, so I'm obviously not going to get up on the roof. So I've got some um, holes marked on the brackets, I'm just going to drill them. Um, and then I'm going to drill the panel itself. Just drilling a couple of pilot holes for the self tappers. I don't know if you can see, but where I've put the bracket, I don't know if really if that's enough gap uh, for the air to get under. So um, I've only put um, one self tapping screw in and one pilot hole. So I think I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Um, so there's a bigger gap under the ban. Um, yeah, it will still work out okay. So I've um, changed the brackets so the gap underneath is about 8mm higher, um, which I feel a lot better with. And it will be easier for getting the MC4 connectors underneath as well. Um, I've decided on self-tappers because um, if I ever want to take the panel off, obviously the bracket will be glued onto the roof. So the only way to get the panel off, if I want to clean under it or anything like that, is to unscrew it from the bracket. So um, that's what I've decided to do. Um, I'll never be able to get a spanner underneath to put on the nut. Um, so I'm going to go with self-tappers. Just going to do some pilot holes and then um, we'll get one bracket on. So I'm just going to screw these um, self-tappers in tight now. Um, hopefully yeah there's like a double skin on the end on the solar panel so it has got two lots to go through <sighs> yeah please with that there we go so that's one bracket on with the self tappers uh, and there's a nice gap underneath um, so I'm going to do that with uh, all the other brackets now or in the morning actually we're out in the town tonight so I'm just going to go and get uh, get me dancing clogs on see you tomorrow I've got one solar panel totally done now with all the brackets on uh, I decided to put the ones on the side as well uh, they were the little off cuts that were left um, from the angle iron um, as I said earlier, it was a 2.5 meter piece, so I got four of these out of it, and then four of these out of it. Um, there's the other panel there, I'm going to start that in a minute. Um, so, two side brackets, um, and then the one at the bottom. Can't see why that shouldn't hold it on. Plenty of surface area on the bottom of the brackets there to put the glue as well, or the sicker flex. Right, so I've decided today's the day we're going to put the panels on the roof. 
um, it's quite sunny it's a little bit windy temperature gonna get up to about eight degrees so we should be all right so I'm just giving a final wash on the roof um, I've already done it I'm just gonna uh, now wash the soapy residue off we've also washed around this window because it might be quite difficult to get out once we've fitted the panels so let's get on What I'll probably do as well is I'll then mark off the uh, solar panels and rough it up a little bit with sandpaper just for the glue to stick to. Right, I've got that. Will you get the other one? Which way do the wires need to be? That was the way it was on the table. Uh, spin the wires need to come up to me first. Right, okay. So I've got both the panels up here now. I'm just going to um, position them where I want them. Um, I want them fairly close to the middle of the van if I can, as far forward as possible so the weight's over the wheels. Don't make a lot of difference but um, I would prefer them near the front anyway. And then once I've got them in position I'm going to mark where the brackets are um, so I can then take them off and uh, get the glue on. Here we go. So I've got both panels in place, Let's see if I can show you a, a view of that one, close into the front of the van as I can. Same again on this side. Down the side as well. There we are, marked where the brackets are. So I'm now going to sand them down and put sticker flax on them. So I've got the sicker flex on. Where the brackets are going. I'm just gonna lay the panel on top of the sicker flex.
so I've got it on just got to tidy up the sicker flex now I've got about two or three mil thickness on it um, I have actually done the other side this is the second one and I think I'd got it on a little bit thick over there um, but I've done a bit more reading up and most people say you want about two to three mil so I've put a little bit less on this time but I'm pleased how they've gone on just got to as I say tidy up the sick flex and I'll maybe put a little bit of weight on it just to hold it there while it, while it goes off That's the panels all glued on. I'm really pleased with that. Um, put the cardboard boxes back on the top with a little bit of weight just to put some pressure on them while they're drying. I'll release the next video shortly showing the inside bit. Removing the old PWM solar controller, arranging the wiring, reconnecting the two-way switch and installing the new Victron Smart solar controller and obviously testing it all out to make sure it works. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. It's always nice to get feedback and read your comments too. Also, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps us grow the channel. Many thanks and bye for now.